The Georgia Tech Glee Club, directed by Walter Herbert, entertains early arrivals in the stadium. Color bearers, followed by representatives of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force, and the Tulane Naval ROTC Unit open the pregame program. The Naval ROTC Unit, Colonel E.L. Roberts commanding, performs a snappy precision drill and is warmly received by the spectators. The Pittsburgh Panthers, Eastern football champions in their blue jerseys and gold pants, come on for the pregame warm-up. Here's the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech in white jerseys and gold pants. They also take the customary warm-up. Here is Robert E. Lee Bobby Dodd, coach of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. This marks Dodd's third appearance in the Sugar Bowl football class. And this smiling big fellow is Georgia Tech's captain and center, Jimmy Morris. Pittsburgh's co-captains are first John Sensi, Panther senior center, and Harold Hunter, rugged senior tackle. This is John Michael Oson, coach of the Pittsburgh Panthers. Sugar Bowl Prexy, Bernie Grenred, welcomes the fans and introduces Mr. Bruce Reynolds of the United States JCs. Mr. Reynolds presents Colonel Edward Egan with a check for $25,000 for the United States Olympic Fund. On the podium, President Grenred greets Miss Dawn Hebert, crowns her Sugar Bowl Queen, and then bestows this kiss on the Queen. Here is lovely Dawn Hebert, Sugar Bowl Queen of 1956. The Queen and her maids are escorted to box seats. The Georgia Tech and Pittsburgh bands form NCAA and 50 in a tribute to the National Collegiate Athletic Association and its 50th anniversary. The fans stand as Monsignor Charles Prochet, Chancellor of the Archdiocese of New Orleans, delivers a prayer for peace. Tulane's ROTC unit, the Sugarettes, Pitt and Tech bands assemble. And under the direction of Mr. Ben Sisk, the bands play the national anthem as Old Glory is raised to the top of the stadium. It's near game time. Time to start the 22nd Sugar Bowl football classic. The Georgia Tech squad races onto the field to take over the east side bench. The Pittsburgh team enters from the west side. Captain Jimmy Morris of Tech and co-captains John Sensi and Harold Hunter of Pitt meet for the toss. Tech wins the toss, elects to receive. Pitt will kick off and defend the south goal. Here's the whistle. Bob Pollock kicks off. The ball goes to the Tech 12. Rotenberry receives there. Hands off to Volker, who returns to the 29, where Greer makes a tackle. First and 10 for Tech on the 29-yard line. Wade Mitchell calls the signal. He hands off to Madison, who gains one at the middle. Second and nine now. Rotenberry goes over left guard for five yards before Neff brings him down. That makes it third down, four yards to go. Rotenberry goes into motion. Mitchell takes the ball, fades the pass. But he elects to keep it, and he loses a yard as Gusick makes the tackle. It's fourth down, and Tech goes into punt formation. Mitchell is deep. Mitchell's punt carries to the pit 24-yard line. Bowen receives and is thrown on the 21. Pitt's ball, first and 10, on the 21-yard line. Neff calls the signals. He takes, keeps, and gains six yards at left tackle. Mitchell making the stop. On a sneak, Neff goes through the middle for six yards and a first down for Morris and Brooks combined on the tackle. First and ten on the 34. Neff hands off to Cimaroli, who hits left tackle but fails the game as Ellis makes the stop. That makes it second down, ten yards to go. Here's Neff calling the signal. He keeps. He fumbles the ball. Ecker recovers for Tech on a pit 32, and it's Tech's ball on Pittsburgh's 32-yard line. First down, ten yards to go. Mitchell fakes to Rotenberry. He fades deep. He's rushed, rushed by Walton, and finally he throws. Greer pursues Ellis into the end zone. Ellis leaps for the ball, but it's out of his reach. However, there's a flag on the play, and interference is called. Tech gets the ball on the one-yard line. 
First and goal for Tech. But Pitt encroaches on the neutral zone, and the ball drooled dead before play started. Pitt is penalized half a yard. Mitchell takes over now. He takes a long, long count. The Georgia Tech quarterback keeps the ball, and he sneaks through the middle for a touchdown. The score, Georgia Tech, six, Pittsburgh, nothing. Mitchell will try for the extra point. Walker Holt, there's a pass from center, the boot. It's good. Tech leads seven to nothing. Now no kicks off for Tech. The ball goes to the pit 10, where Cimaroli receives, brings it back out to the 22-yard line. First and 10 for Pitt under 22. Nepp keeps the ball this time. He gets two at the middle, but the Panthers were offside. And the penalty puts the ball back in the 17. First down, 15 yards to go. Nepp calls a signal. Bowen takes a quick handoff up the middle for three yards. Stevenson makes a stop. It has a flanker right. Nepp takes the ball. He fades. And he passes to Walton for a gain of 15 yards. Fulcher makes the tackle. The ball's on the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go for Pitt. Now Nepp hands off to Cimaroli, and Lou goes over right tackle for eight yards. Thompson makes the stop. Quarterback Nepp has the ball. He fakes. Spades, and he tosses to Walton. It's good for 15 yards. Again, Thompson makes the stop. Pittsburgh has first and 10 and Tech's 44. Neff hands off to Cimaroli, who hits left guard. He's tackled. He tries a lateral. But Fulcher picks the ball out of the air and returns to Tech's 46. Tech's ball first and 10. Van hands off to Thompson, and he gains two before Cimaroli makes the stop. Thompson takes a pitch out from Van. He circles right in for two yards. Taylor throws him out of bounds. That makes it third and six. Van, the quarterback, fades. He can't find a receiver. And he runs for a gain of two yards. Taylor again makes a stop. So Tech goes into spread punt formation. Owen is back to boot. There's his kick. And it is a beauty. It rolls dead on the pit to a 46-yard boot. Pitt's ball, first and ten on the two-yard line. Neff, the quarterback, sneaks over left guard for two yards. Fulcher makes the tackle. Neff takes a quickie, makes a jump pass to Palin, but Big John can't hold on to the ball. Pitt is in punt formation. Schmidt deep in his own end zone. Schmidt punts it out. It goes to the Tech 49-yard line. But the ball finally rolls dead. First and ten for Tech under 49. Mitchell pitches to Volker. But George fumbles the ball and recovers on the 36. There's a penalty against Pitt. And the ball is put in play on the Pitt 47. Mitchell hands off to Madison, and Dick dives over right guard for four yards. Hunter makes the tackle. Mitchell has the ball. He takes a handoff to Madison, pitches to Rokenberry for a gain of two. McCusker makes the stop. On a sneak, Mitchell picks up a yard over center for a first down on the 40-yard line. Hunter is in for the tackle. First and ten for ten. Mitchell. Takes to Madison. He rolls out to the left. And he passes. It's for Huff, but high and out of bounds. However, Tech's backfield was in motion. It, though, refuses the penalty. So it's second and ten. Mitchell, the quarterback, fakes, rolls out. And he circles Pitt's left end for five yards before he's run out of bounds on Pitt's 35-yard line. Mitchell. Pitches out to Volker. And George circles right in for one yard. Taylor and Deepa Squally running out of bounds. Fourth down, four yards to go. Tech's in a spread punt formation with Menger deep. Menger aims for the coffin corner. 
And he boots the ball out of bounds on Pitt's five-yard line. Pitt's ball, first and ten on the five. Bowen takes the handoff from Neft on this play, and he hits the middle for two yards. Morris makes a tackle. That's the end of the first quarter. The score, Georgia Tech seven, Pittsburgh nothing. Second down, seven for Pitt on their eight-yard line as we start the second quarter. On a quickie, Neff hands off to Bowen for a gain of six at right tackle, but the play is called back. Both teams were guilty of rule infraction. It's still second and seven now. Neff to quarterback. Calls the signals, keeps the ball, slants off right tackle for eight yards. Christie makes a stop. The ball's on Pitt's 15, first and 10. Neff hands off to Bowen, but he fails in a thrusted left tackle as Brooks trips him up. Cimaroli is flanked out. Neff fades to pass, is rushed. He keeps the ball, and he runs for a one-yard pickup before Vereen brings him down. Ball's on the 16. Again, Cimaroli is flanked. Neff drops back to pass. He tries to hit Cimaroli, but he misses the target. Pitt goes into a deep front formation. Schmidt is back. Schmidt punts to Tech's 48-yard line. There, Flowers receives it. And he's thrown on the 43 by Greer. It's first and 10 for Tech, and Van pitches to Flowers behind good blocking. Stan circles right end for a pickup of 17 yards before Palet finally brings him down. Tech's ball, first and 10 on Pitts 40. Van, the quarterback, hands off to Owen, and Ken goes over left guard for five yards. Sensi and Bolkovac combine on the tackle. Again, Van hands off to Owen, but this time Ken loses a yard at center as Pollock comes up to close the gap. Van has the ball. He fades back. His protection is good, and he throws. The pass intended for neighbors, but it's broken up by Deep Pasquale and almost intercepted. Fourth down, six yards to go. Texan punt formation. That's Menger deep. Menger's boot rolls into the end zone for a touchback. So it's first and 10 for Penn under 20. Fullback Greer takes a handoff from Salvatera and goes over right tackle for a two yard pickup. Cimaroli is flanked out now. Salvatera takes, keeps, and slants off tackle for eight yards. Stevenson makes the tackle. This time, Cimaroli takes a handoff from Salvatera, and he picks up a yard at the middle of the Tech line. Second and nine on the 31-yard strike. Salvatera, the quarterback, he hands off to Bowen, and Dickey gets seven yards at left tackle. Neighbors makes the stop. Cimaroli takes the handoff, and he slants off right guard for four yards, and a first down on Pitts 42. Salvatera hands off to Cimaroli, and Lou picks up five yards at right tackle. Fulcher is in on the stop. Second and five. Salvatera drops back quickly. He has good protection, and he tries to hit Glass with a pass, but Thompson breaks it up. Carney Salvatera has the ball. He keeps it and goes over right tackle for five yards and a first down. The ball is on Tex 48. Cost takes the handoff from Salvatera, and he picks up four at center. Second and six. Salvatera on the keep. Gains three at left tackle before Fulcher and Owen bring him down. Goss takes the handoff from Salvatera, and he goes up the middle for 11 yards and a first down on Tex 30. Salvatera keeps, and he breaks over left tackle for 10 more yards and another first down for Pittsburgh. The ball is on Tex 20. Quarterback Salvatera keeps it, attempts a pitch out, but the ball is loose. Cimaroli falls in the ball for a loss of six yards. Second and 16 on the 26-yard line. Salvatera fakes, fades back, he's rushed hard. Finally, he passes to Greer, and it's complete for a gain of five. Six takes time out. Time back in again, Salvatera keeps, rolls out the pass, decides to run. And he cuts back through the middle to the 10-yard line. But this play is going to be called back. Pitt was in motion.
Now Cimarroni is spiked out. Greer on a delay buck. Goes up the middle, and he's loose for 10 yards. Ecker makes the tackle. Salvatera hands off to Cimarroni, and Lou circles right in for seven yards before Mitchell finally knocks him out of bounds. It's a first and 10 for Pitt on Tech's nine yard line. On a pitch out, Cimarroni again circles in, and he picks up three yards before Mitchell chases him out of bounds. Quarterback is Salvatera. He fakes, keeps, and circles out around left end for two yards. Rotenberry makes a tackle. Greer takes a handoff, drives over the middle to the one before Morris checks him. It's fourth down and goal to go for Pittsburgh. Salvatera ducks under center, calls a signal, tries to sneak over the middle, but he fails to dent Tech's forward wall. And so the ball goes over to Georgia Tech on her one-yard line. Only seconds remain in the hand. Mitchell, the quarterback, sneaks center for three yards as the first half ends. The score, Tech 7, Pittsburgh nothing. 80,000 shirt sleeve fans bask in the summer-like weather. The temperature is at 76 degrees for the 22nd annual Sugar Bowl Classic. The Sugar Bowl is sponsored by the New Orleans Midwinter Sports Association civic nonprofit organization. Its purpose is to foster wholesome amateur athletics for the development of the character of the youth of the nation. Built by the citizens of New Orleans, the Sugar Bowl is located on the campus of Tulane University and is the largest steel constructed football stadium in the world. And now let's go down to the field to enjoy the halftime entertainment. The Georgia Tech band, under the direction of Mr. Ben Sisk, marches on and forms a seven and a zero, denoting the halftime score. The band then goes into a formation of a sugar bowl design. For their final formation, the Yellow Jacket band spells out T-E-C-H, Tech, and moves off the field. New Orleans' own sugarettes, attired in Olympic track uniforms, give their salute to the Olympic team. Drill movements executed by the Sugarettes each depict an Olympic event. First, the Sugarettes put the shot. Then, execute the standing broad jump. Next, they show weightlifting form. The discus throw is the next movement. Then basketball, first the dribble, and then the shot for the basket. Track is next. The girls get on the marks and then do the dash. The Sugarettes then ice skate off the field. The University of Pittsburgh's 120-piece varsity band, directed by Mr. Robert Arthur, marches to midfield. The first formation is that of a panther head. Opening of the March of Dimes campaign is heralded by the spelling of the name S-A-L-K in tribute to Dr. Jonas Salt of the University of Pittsburgh who developed the new polio vaccine. Next, a flagpole is formed. A flag outline appears and the flag is raised. Now the flag waves to and fro. The musicians doff their caps, and bow to the fans, and then march off the field. We're ready for the kickoff to start the third quarter now. No strikes forward. Boots the ball, the second half's underway. It's a low roller. Walton takes it on the pit 28 and returns back to the 34. Pittsburgh's ball, first and 10 to the 34. Neff hands off to Greer. He hits right tackle for six yards before Brooks makes the tackle. Now Neff hands off to Cimaroli. And Lou fails to gain at right guard as Van and Brooks gain him up. Neff, the quarterback, has the ball. He keeps it. And he goes inside. Tech's left end for seven yards and a first down on the 46. Greer takes the handoff from Neff. Breaks over left tackle. 
fights his way toward the sideline and down to the Tech 28-yard line for a gain of 18 yards in the play. It's first and 10 for Pitt on Tech's 28. Neff keeps the ball, circles right in for two yards. Brooks makes a tackle. Ball's on the 26. Nimaroli takes a handoff from Neff on a reverse, and he goes over right tackle for six yards. Ellis makes a stop. Ball's on a 20-yard line now. Greer takes a handoff and plows through left guard for four yards. Brooks and Morris combine on the tackle. It's first and 10 for Pitt on Tech 16. Neff, the quarterback, takes the snap from center, fakes a pass, but keeps it instead, and then fails the game as Brooks makes a stop. Neff drops back to pass now. He's rushed hard. He finally tosses a ball to Pala. The Yellow Jackets tackle John, and he laterals to Hunter. But Hunter fumbles the ball. Morris and Ellis are in for the recovery of the fumble, but the officials rule forward motion stopped before the lateral. It loses 13 yards, but retains possession. Third and 23. Salvatera replaces Neff here. That's Carney fading back. He finally passes, but it's incomplete. New quarterback Salvatera rolls out on this play. He's going to throw again. He passes, but Ecker intercepts on the 30 and returns to Tech's 37-yard line. So that makes it first and 10 for Georgia Tech and a 37-yard strike. Dan, the Tech quarterback, calls the signal. On a dive play, Rotenberry hits right guard for six before Semaroli and Hunter haul him down. Dan hands off to Madison, the fullback, and he dives over left guard for three yards. It's third down, one yard to go. Dan, the quarterback, sneaks over center for two and a first down on the 48. Dan takes a handoff, pitches to Rotenberry. He tries to circle left end, but Bowen and Palak throw him for a loss of two yards. Dan hands off to Volker. George cracks right guard for three. Hunter makes the stop. Again, Van hands off to Volker, and this time George goes to left guard for five. Haluk makes the tackle. But it's fourth down, and Tech goes into a spread punt formation. That's Volker back deep. Volker's punt rolls out on Pitt's 26-yard line. It's first and 10 for the Panthers on the 26. Salvatore, the quarterback, hands off to Cimaroli, who slants over right guard for six yards. Second and four on the 32. This time on a quickie, Dick Bowen picks up a yard at right guard. Now Bowen is flanked right. Salvatore is the quarterback, he keeps, and he goes through right guard and picks up five yards for a first down Pittsburgh. And it's Pittsburgh ball in the 38, first and 10. Salvatera gives to Jenkins. Tom hits the middle for two yards. Salvatera keeps and rolls out in this play. Runs over right tackle for two yards. Pitt's ends are split. Salvatera, the quarterback, steps back, passes to Walton. It's good for 14 yards and a first down on X-44. Cimaroli is flanked left. Salvatera keeps the ball. He's going to pass, but Huff rushes in fast and throws Carney for a loss of five yards. The ball's on the 49. Bowen takes the handoff over left guard, picks up four yards before Huff, Stevenson, and Flowers close in and bring him down. That makes it third down, 11 yards to go on the 45. Fits right half his flank, and on a stutter play, Jenkins takes the handoff from Salvatera, but he fails to gain at guard. So Pitt goes into a punt formation. Schmidt, back deep, receiving position, takes the snap. He punts out of bounds on Tech's 16-yard line where it's first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Owen takes a handoff from Van, goes over right tackle for two. Rosborough makes the stop. Van makes a pitch out to Flowers and then leads interference as Stan circles left end for seven yards before Bowen runs him out of bounds. Third and one. 
Owens drives through a big hole in the middle of the pit line for eight yards, and it's a first down on the Tech 33. That's Thompson in motion. Owens takes a handoff over right guard. He fights his way to the 31, a gain of eight yards, as they come to the end of the third quarter. The score, Tech 7, hit nothing. It's second down and two on Tech 41 as we start the final period. Rotenberry takes a pitch out and goes inside, fits left end for eight yards and a first down. Next ball on the 49, first and 10. Rodenberry hits the middle of the line for a gain of two yards. On a pitch out from Van, Volker sweeps right in for four yards before De Pasquale runs him out of bounds. Third and four. Madison takes the handoff. Goes over right guard on an angle play. It's six yards and the first down. The ball is on Fitz's 39-yard line. Now on a pitch out. Volker races inside right end for a two-yard pickup. Schmidt and Palak make the tackle. Volker goes into motion. Madison takes the handoff. Angles over the middle for nine yards and a first down. Ball's on a 28-yard line. Rodenberry takes a pitch out from Van. He circles left end and picks up seven yards on the play. That makes it second and three on the 21-yard line. Volkert is in motion, but Madison hits the middle. However, he gets only one yard. Van keeps it. Sneaks over center for two yards, and it's a first down on pitch 17. Van's a quarterback. He pitches to Volker. George circles right in for four yards before Salvaterra makes the tackle. Volker is in motion again. Van hands off to Madison, and Dick slants over right guard for two yards. That makes it third and four on the 10. On a quickie, Van hands off to Volker, and George carries through left tackle for four yards, and a first down on the seven-yard line of Pittsburgh. Van pitches to Volker. George tries to circle right end, but he's thrown for a loss, a loss of a yard by Palin. Van makes a pitch out to Rotenberry, and Paul circles right in. He's tackled by Greer. He fumbles on the 11. The ball is loose, but Flash recovers for Tech after a loss of three yards. Third down, 11 yards to go. Volkert goes into motion again. Van rolls out the pass. He's rushed hard by Pollock, but he finally gets the ball away. But Deep Pasquale intercepts in the three-yard line and returns to Pittsburgh's 11. First down, 10 yards to go for Pittner 11-yard line, but a penalty for delaying a game puts the ball back to the six here. From that point, Salvatore keeps gains eight yards in a slanted right guard. Now the quarterback, Connie Salvatera, drops back. He passes to Joe Walton. It's good for a gain of 12 yards and a first down on 626. Again, Carney's back to pass. Cost is his intended receiver. But the ball is out of his reach. Second and 10. Salvatera fades to pass again. He can't seem to find a receiver. The Jackets swarm in and throw him for a loss of six yards. Salvatera under center on a crisscross. The handoff goes to Cost. He moves over left tackle for seven yards before he's dumped hard by Flowers. So Pitt goes into a punt formation. Schmidt is deep. He gets the kick off. He returns to the 46. But Tech is penalized for clipping, and the ball is put in play from the 31. Rotenberry goes into motion now. Owen takes the handoff, though, from Van, and he picks up a yard at left tackle. On another handoff from Van, Owen drives through center for six yards before Jenkins and Cost bring him down. Volker takes the pitch out, swings high, but Scorsoni breaks through, and he throws George for a loss of five yards. Tech goes into punt formation. Menger is back.
Wenger's punt is taken by Salvatera on the fifth 29 yard line. And he is thrown back to the 28 by Ellis. First and 10 for Pittsburgh. Salvatera, the quarterback, takes the snap. He keeps the ball, drops back, looking for someone to pass to. He throws the glass for a gain of 19 yards. That makes it first down, 10 yards to go on the 47. Again, Salvatera drops back. Eyes his receiver. He throws deep to Cox, but he's well covered and the pass is incomplete. Salvatera drops back again. It's a screen pass to Deep Pasquale. Good for three yards, but the foot called back and Pitt is penalized for backfield in motion. Second and 15 now. Pitt has that flanker out. Salvatera fakes to the left. He's rushed hard. Then he swings around right in. And he makes six yards before he stops. The Brooks and Madison finally chase him out of bounds. Now Lewis has replaced Salvatore at quarterback. Pitt is penalized for delay. Lewis drops back. He throws in pass to Jelly. But the ball is over Ralph's head. Again, Lewis drops back. Again, he is rushed hard. He finally gets it away and he hits flats in the 45. Fred runs to the 38 and pulls, but Palick recovers in the 31 for a gain of 23 yards. First and 10 for Pittsburgh on the 31 yard line. Here's Pitt's left halfback, flanked out to the right. Time is about to run out. Lewis drops back now for his third successive pass. It's intended for Glass, and it's incomplete. Once again, the southpaw quarterback, Lewis, drops back to pass. His protection is good, and he tries to hit Glass in the end zone. It's incomplete. Third down and 10. Time is swiftly running out. Lewis, the quarterback, takes his count, drops back to throw. He can't seem to find a receiver. He runs back over left tackle. He cuts back, picks up a key block by Hunter, races to the Tech 11, and he's hit there and thrown out of bounds finally by Rotenberry. First and 10 for Pittsburgh on Tech's 11-yard line. Lewis under center with time about to run off. He hands off to Jellick. Jellick goes over left guard for six yards to the five, but before another play can be run, the official timer signals the end of the game, and Tech wins seven to nothing. And surge onto the field, surround the players, and offer congratulations. Coach Johnny Michaelosa to Pittsburgh extends congratulations to Bobby Dodd, gives the Georgia Tech coach hearty handshake. Georgia Tech and Pittsburgh band group on the field to give the fans a final send-off. The 27th Sugar Bowl Classic, one of the most thrilling of all time, is now history. See you all again on New Year's Day. <laughs>